Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to add the post carousal on a WordPress website. To add the post carousal on any WordPress website, I'm going to use the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. Here are some examples of the blog post carousal that I have created using this free plugin. This is the first example. This is the second example. You can change the color settings. These blog post carousals are fully customizable. You can also use the preset templates for the blog post carousal. This is one of the preset template. You can change the background color, the title color, image size. Here you will see another example in which the featured image is used as the background image. Here you will see another example in which I have changed the background color. Now here the benefit of using Spectra Page Builder plugin is that apart from post carousal, you can add many other features to the WordPress website. Here is the list of features that you can add using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. So it's not just the post carousal, you can use many other features or the blogs on your WordPress website. This plugin works with all the themes. It is going to add more blogs to your default Gutenberg WordPress editor. So let's see how we can add the post carousal on any WordPress website using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using Spectra Page Builder on this website. And using this plugin, we are going to add the post carousal on the home page of the website. You can add the post carousal on any other page or the blog post on your website using this plugin. This is a free plugin. Here is the list of features or the blocks that you can add. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to add the table of contents on WordPress website using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Spectra Page Builder plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. So let's see, I have these blog posts that I want to show on the home page as post carousal. So this is the home page. I'm going to edit the home page now. I'm not using any other page builder on this WordPress website. So we are on the home page. Now I want to add the post carousal on this page. So what you can do, you can click on this plus sign and search for post carousal or here you can see the plus sign. Click on the plus sign and you will see all the features, all the blogs that are under Spectra. So if you scroll down, you will see the post carousal. Here is the post carousal block. If you want to search, you can search for post carousal and you will see the post carousal in the list. This is the one. So click on it. And here you will see the sample layout of the post carousal. Now let me update it and let's see how does this look on the actual home page. So this is how it will look. Now we are going to customize this. Now here you will see the settings of this block. These are the general settings, style, advanced. So under general you will see the post type. So here you will see post or pages. If you want to create a carousal of pages, you can select pages. However, in this case, I'm going to use post carousal. Here you can select categories, which categories you want to show. If you want to show only the post of a particular category, you can select the category from this drop down box. So I'm going to select all exclude current post. So if you are installing the post carousal on a blog post, then you can exclude that particular blog post from the post carousal. How many posts you want to show on the page here? I have selected six. You can select the number of posts that you want to add in the post carousal. Now here you will see the order by how do you want ascending or descending order? You can select title, a random menu order. So I'm going to select date. So it will show blog post according to the date of publish. If post not found, then this message will be shown. Now let's go to carousal. These are the carousal settings. Pause on hover. So if you move the cursor on it, the carousal will pause. Auto play. Auto speed. Speed if you, you can change the speed. 2000 ms is nothing but two seconds. So after every two seconds, it's going to change the slide. Infinite loop, transition speed, arrows, dots, both. Here you can see this is the arrow and these are the dots. So in this example, we have selected both image. Now here you can see the image, large image, change the size. It will show the featured image of the blog post. When I click on disable, it will not show any image. So let's enable it. Contain. This is the content. You can show the title. This is the title. Show author. I have it disabled. 
show date this is the date of publish show comment number of comments you can disable that one show meta icon these are the icons show excerpt this is the short description and the read more button here you will see the settings for the read more you can select the button type from here so this post carousal is customizable you can make changes according to your website requirement now let me add another style here so i'm going to add one more block here you will see another block and i'm going to change the preset here i'm going to select this one you will see two blog posts so there are some presets that you can use let's update it so this is the first example default one this is the first preset that we have used now we are going to change the button style so here you can go to read more link change the button style to this one if you want to change the color you can change from here go to style settings here you can see the background type so i'm going to change the background color just like this one here you can change the background color column gap is there 2020 you can change the column gap title you can change the title color from here so this block is fully customizable meta color the text color so i'm just selecting some random colors here you can change the typography also you can change the font size read more link the background color you can change the box button color image arrows and dot you can change the color of the arrows and dot here you will see advanced settings display condition if you go to none you can show the blog post according to the user conditions if user state hide from logged in users logged out users user role you can show these blog post carousal to some particular user roles only such as subscriber editor contributor here you will see browser you can select the browser to show this blog post carousal if i select google chrome so it is going to hide this blog post carousal on the google chrome browser operating system so it is going to hide the blog post carousal on the on these operating system you can select that operating system and and it is going to disable the blog post on that operating system responsive condition if you want to hide it on desktop tablet or mobile you can select from here z index advanced so these are the advanced settings so let's update it refresh it so here you will see the changes to the color system let's add one more block here and let's go to the second preset so here you can see the background is changed to the featured image from here you can now change the color settings or the other settings of this carousal so i'm going to update it refresh it and here you will see the third layout here you can adjust the height of the carousal equal height option is there you can enable it update it let's refresh it and you will see the equal height of these blog post carousals here you can see that the carousal has only the dots you can select both and here you will see the arrows also let's add one more post carousal and let's go for the preset this one looks similar to the first one let's add this one this one does not have the image so that's the difference let's update it and refresh it so here you can see the last one that we have added and there is no image if you want to add the image manually you can add the image just check this box and it is going to add the image to the post carousal so if you want to change the settings manually you can change from here let's change the background color title color so moving fast
just refresh it so this is how it will look you can also adjust the equal height refresh it so this one also looks good so this is how you can use the free Spectre page builder plugin to add the post carousal on any wordpress website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips